Hey everyone, and welcome back to another round of Horizon 5 updates. As usual, we've got quite a bit to show off here, and there's a pretty big variety of what was shown and talked about. So let's just go ahead and jump right in, starting with the updates to the livery editor. Now, this was teased back near the E3 reveal that they wanted to bring the livery editor more in line with photo editing software like Photoshop. And that definitely piqued my interest because as you probably know, Photoshop is a pretty advanced piece of software with a huge feature set. So hearing that Forza's livery editor was going to be moving more in that direction seemed amazing. However, after seeing it demoed on the live stream today, well, there really isn't much new that Horizon 4 players won't already be familiar with. The UI has been given a fresh coat of paint, and the layers now stack vertically, which makes a bit more sense. It's a bit easier now, just from a button pressing perspective, to adjust decals and mirror things to the other side of the car, for example. The whole experience feels more refined and intuitive for sure, but there just really aren't any new features. I was really expecting to see things like being able to set decal layers as a mask, or changing paint finish on decals. Even the ability to put decals on windows, which is a hugely requested feature. On top of that, I'd love to be able to throw decals on lights, rims, anything. I mean, I want that freedom that I would have in real life, and I'm sure most players do. Sadly, it does look like we're just getting a UI refresh and resolution bump, which while absolutely nice and welcome features, are not exactly what I was expecting. So either way, this segment with the livery editor was during the Forza Monthly, not the Let's Go stream, and in the Forza Monthly, they showed off a few more little bits of info. For one, we got a look at some customization. They showed some door panels on this Jeep Gladiator, as well as a new body kit for the GT2 RS, which looks amazing. But what's more interesting to me is the performance upgrades, which have been changed a bit at least for tires. We now have semi-slick, slicks, drift tires, rally, off-road race, and then snow and drag as well. So considering what we've learned in the last stream about how they've reworked physics for suspension and tires, it seems like the tires you choose are going to have a much greater impact on how your car performs. Really curious to see if there will be exceptions to these tire rules. For example, will drift tires always be the best for drifting, or will semi-slicks be a better choice in some builds? We will, of course, probably have to wait until the game is in our hands to figure that out. And that was about it for the Forza Monthly section of the stream. We did get some motorsport updates, some pretty nice ones in fact, but this video is focusing on Horizon, so if you want to see the motorsport updates, head to about the 47 minute mark of this September's Forza Monthly. So moving on to the let's go end of the stream, which was all about multiplayer, we got a look at, well, a lot of multiplayer content in Horizon 5. We got to see some more of Horizon Arcade, Horizon Tour, and Horizon Open, as well as a look at the updated Eliminator, how Gift Drop works, and a bit more about how Forza Link works as well. Okay, so what are Horizon Arcade, Tour, and Open? Well, Horizon Arcade is more or less the new Forzathon Live, but instead of heading to PR stunts and completing a community goal, Horizon Arcade is a collection of unique mini-games that you queue up to in a fashion similar to Horizon 4's Forzathon Live, where you drive up to a spot on the map and it auto-groups you up, and then you drive around completing mini-games like Pinata Pop or Bullseye which is a new game mode we haven't seen yet that looks pretty fun. Now Horizon Tour is the next new mode, and this is a seemingly pretty casual co-op online racing mode where it's you and five other real drivers against a team of drivatars. The coolest element to this mode from my perspective is the queuing area. So there's a spot just outside the main festival, it looks like, where you can start Horizon Tour. The events run on a five minute schedule, so every five minutes the destination changes and you can see where it'll be next. So this is a spot to kind of pick and build your cars and meet up with other players to get ready for the upcoming Horizon Tour. Sadly, they didn't actually do any Horizon Tour on stream today, they just kind of showed off this queuing area, but I'm really curious to see more about it. 
Finally, Horizon Open is our refreshed version of Online Adventure. So here is where you're going to see standard racing, drifting, playground games, and also the Eliminator. Interestingly, in racing they seem to have done away with the ranking system, so I'm curious if there will be any ranked racing, or if Rivals is going to be the only real ranked online-ish racing in Horizon 5. Horizon 5's open drifting is, according to Mike Brown, pretty much the same as Horizon 4's Drift Adventure, for better or worse. Playground Games now also has solo games as well as team games, which I think is a great change. And then finally for Eliminator, pretty familiar to Horizon 4's version, but with a new starter car and more players on the map. Moving on from those game modes, we got some clarification finally on the gift drop system. So here is who you can hide gift drops for. Notably, you cannot give gift drops to specific players or even just random people on your friends list. It essentially has to be randomly selected from the player base as a whole, so there's no kind of way to get around it and gift cards to specific players if you, say, only have one person on your friends list. Think of it kind of like Wonder Trade from Pokemon, but only going one way. I feel like I'm gonna have to create some unique signature car to give away on these. And guys, that is just about it for the major news updates we got with these streams, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.